I come from a long line of decorators. Uh, being into my family tree, I've discovered that my family were decorators right back to the beginning of the 19th century. And my father's still alive, my grandfather, they were all decorators, and one, one way or another. So I've always, I was brought up with the interest in period properties. My father used to take me to period properties. He was a room steward, and so was my mother in National Trust property. So that was sort of in the blood. What's popular at the moment in the design sector is the, um, the background story to things. People are buying things knowing where they come from. They don't just want it out of the blue, a particular sector of the market, and that adds value to it. I thought, well, in my heritage side, my period side, I know that the ancient high house in Stafford, when they were renovating it, they discovered layer upon layer of period wallpaper. And it had, at the end of the 18th, early 19th century, which is spot on for my period, an owner who was, we presume, showing off his newfound wealth. And he papered the house, and he papered over the old timbers, because it's a timber frame building, and obviously he wanted to do what was fashionable at the time. And he papered over the window frames, the mullions, he did everything. So when they were renovating it, they not only found the lair, the top lair, but lairs underneath. So that was all removed and archived, and it's become well known uh, amongst wallpaper historians as a resource for period wallpaper. And it's in Stafford. So with Staffordshire University, it seemed a perfect fit. So for our first range of wallpapers, we've worked with the ancient high house and the students and recent graduates who've been designers have had access to those resources in order to influence and inspire their designs. I think the students are getting a full experience from pitching their designs to High House, so they're having to go through that process of, of working on something that they don't know whether they're going to win, win that their design's going to win. Then they're going through to being uh, having experienced the first um, collection that we've developed, we've worked with designers and histori uh, wallpaper historians, so designers are actually working and doing designs in industry. They've also had the expertise from um, um, everyone from the university and they're getting the um, the output for their design straight away so we're doing the marketing and the PR for them and we're lucky enough to have won the wallpaper direct contract which is great because and also the students are getting their names on designs if they go into industry their designs they might not lose their name we want the, de the designers to have their name on their their designs. I mean, it's amazing it's such a, a massive opportunity and it's it's just unreal to see it actually there on the wall because every time I look at it I just can remember the initial drawing phase when I was actually sat there in the high house doing some drawings um, and now to see it on the wall is quite an achievement.